guys, it is your boy Mpuji Warrior. Welcome back to another day. Another day? I was thinking to say it's not a very nice day. I can't even speak. Anyway, guys, look, if you're not interested in football, then just click off, okay? I'm gonna say that from now just because I don't wanna force any of my viewers to watch this video if they do not like football, if they're not interested in football. Anyway, okay, so as you can see by the title, this is gonna be like, I mean, it's not, I don't know if it's gonna be much of a rant anymore because the day that this actually happened, this 4 0 that Liverpool did to Barcelona, the 4 0 comeback happened two days ago now. I wasn't able to do this video, I wanted to do it as soon as the game finished, but I couldn't. I, you know, I had other things to do. Before I get into just ranting and complaining, I just wanna say that I looked forward to this game so much, okay? The first game, Barcelona won 3 0, Messi scored two, one beautiful free kick, a tap in, and Suarez scored a pretty nice goal. This is really sad because I looked forward to this game so much. I knew Liverpool would score a couple goals, but I was thinking, you know what? It's cool. Barcelona just need one goal. You know, they're safe. And I really wanted Messi to win the Champions League this year. I know a lot of you who are probably watching this, friends of mine, what are you saying, Jack? What are you saying, Raheem? These guys know I'm a Messi supporter. Yeah, I support Messi. I prefer Messi to Ronaldo. I think Ronaldo's great, but I feel like Messi can do it all. There's going to be a lot of um, discussions about that throughout this video now. <laughs> I do believe Messi deserves Bell, especially because Messi did say at the beginning of the season since he is now the Barcelona captain he was going to do everything he could he was going to do his best and so was everyone else because I guess he spoke to them before they agreed that they were going to do their best to bring the Champions League back to Barcelona Messi did exactly that obviously they didn't go to the final they lost but the amount of people I see saying that this is all Messi's fault is pretty bad there's a couple of people I've seen putting up posts on Instagram these people will go and say oh Messi bottled it Messi Messi did this, Messi did that. He promised them the Champions League and he lied. He never promised them the Champions League. He promised to do his best and that is exactly what he did. He's got 12 goals in the Champions League. That's more than anyone else this season. I don't know how many assists he had, but I know he was the top goal scorer. So Messi did everything he could. He put in his part. They went into this three goals ahead. They only needed to score one goal and then Liverpool would have had to score five. Like I said, people that were saying this is all Messi's fault, he bowled it, he can't do it under pressure. Here's a couple clips for you. I watched the entire game please tell me this shot here that Messi takes here okay that's that's a that's great goalkeeping from Allison and then this here Messi barges Fabinho off the ball gives it to Coutinho and Coutinho misses here he gives the ball straight to Jordi Alba and Jordi Alba misses and here when he goes and gives the ball straight to Suarez and then Suarez does that Messi again doing what he can from a tight angle he can't be expected to score from there so as I, I've just showed you guys, he was the only Barcelona player, apart from Vidal, who really deserved better today on well in that game. Vidal, there's not many highlights about him, so I can't really show you, but I watched the entire game. Vidal was Barcelona's best midfielder. And this is why I have to rant, because I'm so irritated by that Barcelona manager. I watched the game and I could see, I could see Barcelona's worst player in midfield was Busquets. This guy was slow, he was getting caught out, he couldn't, he couldn't head on the ball above for Fabinho, Fabinho was bullying him, his movement was terrible, his passing, he was making some terrible passes, he was, he was trash, he was straight up trash, he was the worst player in midfield, I'm not going to get onto who the worst player of the game was, but he was the worst player in midfield and then they decided to take off Vidal, why, why would you bring, why would you take off Vidal, why Why did Valderrade, whatever his name is, why did he take off Vidal, he was their best player in midfield, he took off Vidal, left on Busquets, when Busquets was the trash one, I don't get that, and then Busquets continued to get caught out, I don't know what what the manager was seeing this is why i think it could have been fixed because there's no way that the manager did not see what the problem was in midfield now the worst player on the pitch in that game for barcelona was Jordi alba and i like this guy i have always thought personally that he was the best left back him and marcelo were the best but i preferred him because i actually i don't know i just i liked his speed and i liked his connection that he had with messi but this guy was trash look at this why are you headering the ball to Mane? If you're under pressure, just kick it out for a throw or just boot the ball out. Control it on your chest and kick it out. Why are you giving it to Mane? Why? That goal really annoyed me. Next goal that Jordi Alba caused. Okay, Rakitic probably should have cleared it or he should have passed it the other way. Jordi Alba, kick it out for a throw, you idiot. Why the hell would you try and get past Trent? Trent is fast. Trent is sick. The guy's 20 years old and he's probably one of these probably the best right back in the world right now another thing Ter Stegen why are you letting that in the ball came straight at you you're supposed to be the best keeper in the world all right in my opinion him and Allison, best keepers in the world he shouldn't be letting that in just terrible defending overall just 
just terrible defending there, man. When Yardim scored a second goal, it was a great goal. Okay, I'm not gonna take it away from him. I, I have nothing against Liverpool. I want everyone to understand that I like Liverpool. Take a look back to like six, seven months ago when the season started, whenever it started. I said that Liverpool were gonna be the ones to win the Premier League. I wanted them to. I don't like Man City. I don't want Man City to win it again. I like Klopp and I like all their players. I said it in the video. Look, I'll even show you right here. I think Liverpool will win it. I really do like Liverpool's team and I, I don't actually have any hate towards them. I really don't. You see, I didn't want nothing to go bad for them this season. The way that Barcelona bottled it, I'm not angry at Liverpool. I'm angry at Barcelona's defence and the stupid manager. Suarez is terrible shots. Coutinho's weak shots. Busquets terrible in the midfield. Freaking Jordi Alba making these stupid mistakes. Ter Stegen not even doing his best. This goal that Wijnaldum scored, his second goal. What are you doing, man? Look at the look at Longley and PK. They're both. I'm pretty sure they're both taller than Wijnaldum. How does he somehow get in between both of them to score the header? Like I don't understand. Please explain to me how you're allowing that to happen. It is stupid. And then the rest of the game was just crap after that, man. Because then even the fourth goal, the fourth goal was the worst thing. I don't. And this is. I'm. It's so suspect because I I watched it live. Okay, I don't remember hearing the whistle from the ref from the referee. I don't remember hearing it once. It was a really smart play from Trent. All right, take, I will not take that away. But why were Barcelona napping? Everyone was napping. It's almost like Trent and Origi knew exactly what they were gonna do. It's almost like they said to themselves in training, "All right, look, as soon as that situation happens, we're doing that. We're gonna score." And that's what happened. Take nothing away from Liverpool. They were clinical. They were great. Barcelona weren't clinical. But the difference is, it's a defending so bad. Jordi Alba was so bad. Busquets was terrible. PK and Long. They didn't really put a foot wrong, but they, they didn't do their job. They should have stopped that Wijnaldum header. And Ter Stegen, man, shouldn't have allowed that goal to go through him. I know people are going to say, oh, you're just a messy fanboy. I love what he does. He's a genius. I love the pure genius, what I see him do when he plays football. The way he runs through players, you know, the way he dribbles, the way he passes, uses his teammates. That's great. All right, other people will prefer Ronaldo. Okay, you prefer the ball gets crossed in, Ronaldo runs for it. You know, he gets past everyone. He rises above everyone, scores. Okay, you know, everyone has their own preference. But don't go and blame this on Messi because he's the only guy who actually did anything for them and Vidal But Vidal got taken off and yes You guys can definitely say and I can agree to an extent that Messi did kind of give up towards the end But who wouldn't if you see that how are you supposed to like how can you mentally just put that aside and just ignore What the woeful defending of your t of the team that you play for just did I understand You know a lot of people say that's the difference between Ronaldo and Messi, you know Ronaldo. Yeah, fair enough Fair enough, but has Ronaldo ever been in that situation? Situation. No, he's never been in that situation, so you can't compare. I even saw someone say Messi is you lot's goat. If you don't know what goat stands for, it's greatest of all time. Messi, your goat, gave up a three goal lead. My goat, Cristiano Ronaldo, would never give up a three goal lead. You don't know. And I can guarantee you, it's so weird because Suarez is supposed to be, I don't care what people say, man, he should be the best striker in the world. He is, but he was just trash. I'm telling you for a fact, if Suarez and Origi swapped teams in this game and Origi was playing striker, Barcelona would have won that game. I'm telling you. And if Coutinho and when Yaldum switched around, then they definitely would have won. 100%. The defence choked. Okay, and that's all it is. For Barcelona to win the Champions League next year, they needed a clinical striker. They needed a clinical winger. Dembele, I would say Dembele is clinical, but he's part of the reason. Okay, I'm not going to get into this because it's not entirely his fault. But in the last game, when they won 3-0, I'll even show you guys. Dembele missed this. He can't be missing that. That would have been 4-0, that would have been harder for Liverpool to come back. It would have changed everything, but he missed that, so I can't exactly say that, they, but I don't know, they need a clinical winger, they need a clinical striker, they need a new CDM, that's why I'm glad De Jong is coming in, because when De Jong comes in, Vidal will probably be his CDM. Jordi Alba, man, I'm not going to say they need a new left back, because I, I don't know what happened to him, I think he just got caught out today, he's never, he never is that bad. Ter Stegen's still great, PK, Longley, they're still great, Roberto, Tomato, they're still great, so I'm not going to blame them for this man i'm not but yeah just know guys this that was i hated watching that man my uncle wanted liverpool to win because he wants an english team to win but he doesn't want tottenham because my uncle's an arsenal supporter so he doesn't want tottenham to win he got what he wanted but guys it ruined everything for me man i went to stay the night at my girlfriend's afterwards i literally left my uncle's house got on the train went to my girlfriend's house i couldn't even sleep man i was tossing and turning in the bed when someone makes a biased post and just says how messi's done this messi's done that i just correct them and i just tell them look man there's no point of coming on here and giving out false information you need to know your facts before you try to state them simple as that there was some guy that was like oh i told you messi bottles it messi bottles it and i said did you even actually watch the game to know who bottled it because you clearly didn't i told him that i told him to look at the highlights he looked at the highlights and he came back and said oh sorry bro what, what, what?
are you talking about, man? Anyway, I'm on my, I need to leave now, man. I need to go to college. Um, I'm gonna be editing this video literally when I get back tonight. It's Thursday, the 9th of May. So yeah, I'm gonna edit this. I'm gonna try and get this video out for you guys tomorrow. In the slightest, I'm glad that I did not do this video the same night because I would have been a lot more angry. I, I was so miserable. It just ruined my day, man. It ruined the ruined yesterday for me as well. But today I'm cool. But anyway, look, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please do leave a like. And if you're new around here, then make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you do not miss a video when they do come out, you know, future videos and that. If you guys want to add me on Snapchat and Instagram, they're on the screen right now, so make sure you do that. There's a lot of information on there that comes out to do with videos and what I'll be doing in the future and whatever. And if you guys just want to get to know what I get up to, like, weekly, what I do on my day-to-day -day basis, then make sure you have me on Snapchat specifically. It's been your boy, in Picture Warrior. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please like, please subscribe. Peace. the happiest days of my life. Nothing could have been better than to put the ring on your finger. Making my wife. Sometimes I lay in bed and just wonder what she been up to all this time. Shouldn't I call her because